Now I request uh, Dr. Mukesh Kumar on supply chain. Yeah, I was there uh, in terms of supply chain. We were quite minority group. Um, only myself and Professor Biswanathan were there. But I think uh, Professor Biswanathan enough or uh, uh, quite extensive experience really, really added value to this. So I really, f generally I don't follow rules, um, but my wife trained me how to follow rules in these days. Um, and so what I did is actually I follow religiously what you ask two questions to follow and find an answer. Uh, but before going to f uh, two questions, we had an agreement uh, or kind of observation that we, we both thought it's quite good. It's what is inclusive manufacturing and what we learn in, I think I was not there on the first day, but what we have learned from various presentations. Um, so as per our understanding, we thought it's about creating product services for rural and urban population, those who can't afford it. And the product characteristic that people were talking during this our presentation is affordable, sustainable, value to customer, and also accessible. And what kind of products that we should be looking at, and various products that we actually looked at is quite, um, it's actually uh, making human lives better, it's the basic needs of the human, roti kapra or makan, and even going to healthcare and dawai um, kind of area. And all this perspective of inclusive manufacturing, what we have thought is um, there are two perspectives basically emerge. It's societal perspective, which incorporates customer and product point of view. Um, there's another perspective which not discussed that much in length, but I think Prof uh, Professor Baldev Raj has mentioned about Amul. This is about employment generation as well to some extent. Um, and the labor conditions, um, smart village and town, and kind of areas that uh, we were looking at. So I'll go back to the question that I was asked. What are the learnings from the past for the role of supply chain in inclusive manufacturing? Um, as we know, inherently, supply chain is quite complex system. It has, at the heart of supply chain, there are factories, and there are factories and factories of the suppliers and suppliers and distribution centers. Um, so what we have learned till now in last two years, uh, uh, two days presentation is supply chain for inclusive manufacturing is quite disintegrated. The actors are not talking to each other. Um, and this integration is across the value chain. When we are also talking about the design elements, whether the product is designed for the customers. Um, these supply chains are also long and geographically dispersed. And that leads to the problem of poor quality and inefficiency and higher cost. Last mile is one of the biggest challenge that we have observed in, our, in the presentations that we have looked at that leads to also, labor, and another challenge is of labor productivity, new technology adoption. Um, big gap between demand and supply. I think previous, or previous work group also talked about whether are we making these products for the people that they need. So this is the pe product which people really need in the rural area. Um, or it's just the product that we are making for the sake of making it. Um, supply chain scale up is another point that is actually coming up. So lots of solutions we have heard from product perspective, lots of design and interesting products are being designed. But why it's not been scaled up to other parts of India? Uh, and not just India, why not beyond India? So what are the challenges, why not supply chain, what are the challenges that supply chain can solve in this area? So these are the, these are the learning from the past that we think about the role of supply chain, that supply chain can play a important role in solving these problem. Now, coming back to the, what are the issues and challenges should be tackled within short term and medium term? That's the second question we ask. And one of the things that again is quite echoed in other talks as well, other groups view, is can we do uh, landscape studies for inclusive manufacturing, linking technology, product, demand, supply? Um, it's almost like, uh, as in UK, we have manufacturing landscape studies. Um, can we do it for rural area? Keeping in mind that India is quite diversified. It's not a kind of country which like looks unified. So northern side of India, eastern side of India, western side of India, southern side of India, everywhere there are different requirements, different competences. Keeping in those things in mind, can we actually do one or two years or six or seven month studies in this area in order to inform or better inform future innovation for in, in inclusive manufacturing. 
Um, another topics that we thought that we should be dealing in medium term, um, looking at supply chain scale up, how one innovator or startup has started making a product with limited means of distribution, how they can go across pan India uh, market. And all these things is also linked to digital supply chain, which we think that will make the difference. So can, how we can design digital supply chain, what kind of infrastructure it requires and how it can be developed. Um, developing small scale industries, and it's more near to the production. So we are talking about where the population, where the consumption is, can we actually create production there as well. And in all these things, what is more important that we need to be careful um, uh, if we don't do it correctly is value distribution. And I, I think I should say value redistribution because it has to be supported with viable economic means. Current value distribution system, somebody makes huge amount of money, others can't make another money. So we need to think about how the value in inclusive manufacturing can be distributed fairly across the supply chain and value chain. That's the conclusion that we had. Uh, if anything I've missed, Professor Vidwadhan. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.